Oh, there we go. We connected finally. A little wonkiness here at the uh, booths, but we're getting it done. <laughs> we're getting it there. We're Welcome back there. to GSX 2018, Chuck Harold, Security Guy TV. Dot com. Our next buddy, Ron Rabina, CAO of Ally Barton. Yes. Now, Ally Barton. No, I'm getting old. Oh, God. Ally Universal. Universal. Sorry about yeah, that. No problem. No problem. Uh, you have a fascinating story. I, Thank you. You're a chief administrative officer. Tell us about how you went from a security officer mm -hmm. to the chief administrative officer. It's a sure. fascinating story. Sure. It's a great. It, it, it's a very rewarding story, personally, Chuck. Uh, I've had. Very, I've been very lucky in my career. I've had tremendous mentors. And tremendous coaches, and basically, I've taken I've taken the opportunity, uh, really, of the training coming through the organizations, and I've worked for uh, this this past May was my 38th year with Allied wow. Universal. So I, yeah, I did. I started as a security officer, and I've been very blessed to have great partners. I've been blessed to have great employees working with, working around, uh, and really pushing each other. And one of the things that's made me successful is I'm always curious. Yeah. I'm very curious. Uh, and one of the things, and it's a value thing for my mom and my dad, it's really important to be relevant in life. And I think in this business, you know, Allied Universal, we have over 160,000 employees, wow. soon to be 210,000 employees. Uh, and it's important, uh, I guess my messaging is really to take advantage of all the training and through my career, uh, it's always about serving people. It's about serving customers. You know, uh, I always talk about in our organization and a lot of my job, and, and as I oversee, I go from office to office, what I talk about is culture. And I talk about how important it is really to get out there and be relevant. And our business is we serve our customers best when we serve our employees first. I agree with you. Uh, and that is something that, yeah. that I believe in personally. And that is something that has really taken me through my 38 years and actually been in the industry 40 years. But it's it's when I go from branch to branch and office to office and I'm, I'm meeting with our security professionals, it's it's inspiring for me to listen to the stories and to talk about opportunities. And, you know, for example, you know, when I first saw that, it was ASIS, you know, obviously now with GSX. But, you know, I always I was involved in local chapters. Uh, as, I was a involved, as a guard. Well, as, as a manager, as, I, as, okay, I, as right, a security right. professional, yeah. but taking training courses. Right. And then through the years, uh, I've just constantly was curious. And I constantly had, as I said, I worked for some great, I had some great mentors. And I, I'm a firm believer uh, in, in you really, in life, you have to find mentors and you have to be relevant. Right. And, and I was fortunate to do that. And as I went up through my career in the organization, I was always taking advantage of the training programs, taking advantage of finding someone that was relevant, and, and how do I really emulate that and take that and take it to the next level? So when I go around to our branches, I'm constantly talking to our security professionals. I'm constantly talking about, you know, again, serving our customers, making sure in this day and age, you know, in our, in our society, we live in a different world right now, Chuck, as you well know. It's very different. It's a different world, and I think it's important, you know, the combination of manpower, right technology you look at this show bringing them together uh, and that's where you have really solid security programs and then the other thing is customization it's so important to customize not to have that cookie cutter to customize your solutions for your customers and I really believe in that and in Allied Universal we really believe in that and I know you had our CEO on Steve Jones yep. uh, you know ours we have a great story to tell and uh, we are relevant as an organization as a, as a community leader uh, and we believe in that and that's how part of our core values is making Making sure that we are relevant, we are serving our communities, but most important thing is serving our employees first. Now, you hit something on the head that I think I want, I want everybody to listen to, especially my, my security guard friends that listen to the show, and we have a lot of them, right? Ron said he took advantage of what was available. Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff out there, and I think I think that's the difference that, between initiative exactly. and waiting for somebody to promote me. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And Ron went from guard to chief administrative officer. Uh, on his initiative and taking advantage of what's out there. So, you know, there's a new certification here Absolutely. at uh, GSX this year. I think, I forget what it's called exactly, but it allows you with minimum experience or education to kind of start getting into exactly. ASI, a ASIS and taking advantage of these programs yeah. and stuff. Self-taught is very important yeah. going out there. And again, you have to be curious. You gotta and, be curious. And you have to, you have to be curious and take advantage and don't be afraid to fail. Right. I failed many times in my career. Trust me, I'm I failed failing many right times. now as we talk. As a matter of yeah. fact, <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's important. It's really important to to have that zest and to go out there. And again, the messaging here is be relevant. You have to be relevant, no matter what you do in life. You have to be relevant. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, 
Allied Universal size. Are, are you the big guys in the block now? We are. We, right. we are. We are the big guys, in the, and, and that comes with responsibilities, right. and it comes with a lot of responsibilities. As I said earlier, we have over 160,000 employees currently, soon to be over 200,000. So, yes, we are the big guys in the block, but again, we're always learning. And I know, again, as I heard you talk to uh, uh, Steve Jones, our CEO, we're constantly reinventing ourselves. That's true. That's very important, yeah. reinventing yourself. Just, just look around this floor. Look at the technology. Next week at this time, there'll be probably five or six more different technologies out there. So it's important to be on the cutting edge. I remember I hired you guys at Disney back yeah, in 2000. Yeah. You're a long time customer. Uh, yeah. Two, maybe something 2001, like that. 2001, actually. Oh, was it 2000? 2001. <laughs> CAO, he knows these things, right? And uh, we brought Matt Clock on board. Exactly. And he was a great administrator yeah. for us. Yeah. And back then, even when all this stuff was not super high tech, you guys were kind of high tech. We were. We had some we online training stuff for the yeah. guards, which was very impressive. Yes, we, uh, absolutely. But we've built on that. We yeah. built on that. And again, how do you get to the next level? And it's making the investments in your time. Right. And this this is hard work. This is not easy. It's a heavy lift. And it's hard work, it's dedication, it's persistence, and uh, you really need to do really every day be self-taught and every day you learn something new. What are you worried about in the business? Are you, are, are there something on the horizon you're concerned about that it hasn't emerged yet? Uh, well, obviously in the world in which we live in, it's very difficult. Yeah. It's the unknown. And, I, and again, going back to the training, you know, the emergency preparedness, and you know, it's no different than an athlete. You know, a Tiger Woods didn't get where he was by not hitting 10,000 golf balls a week. Right. So I think in our organization and any organization, I think what, what, you know, what you really have to make sure is that you're prepared for the unknown. And the only way to get there is through training, through again redundancy, going out there, trying over and over. Because God forbid, when something does happen, you have to be prepared. I think today's it, this is a good example where we sit in Las Vegas. And that incident we happened a few years ago here, tragic incident right. you know you looked at how that was responded to and security professionals played a tremendous role in, in capturing uh, that gentleman or that and gentleman I, that, that and person. I'm finding a lot of young people are choosing this as their first profession yes, instead of coming out of law enforcement coming out exactly. of another discipline I want to go into it right away on the guard level are we experiencing uh, general shortages in personnel? Is it hard to find people nowadays? It's a, it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge. What's but causing again, it, do you think? Uh, well, I, I think because of, uh, that's a great question. What's causing it, I think when you look around here, I think wait, there's a lot of wage pressure, a lot of labor markets. Uh, I think in, in our industry right now, you know, we as an organization, you know, you heard Steve talk about, we're constantly reinventing ourselves, going out yeah. there and find, we have to find the best of the best. And that takes work. It that takes, takes a work. lot of work. It takes work. It takes yeah. technology. It takes investment <clears throat> in, in, in capital and resources. So uh, this is a great industry. And again, I've been doing this for over 40 years. And you know what? If you ask me, would you do it again? In a heartbeat. You know, when I was running a couple of guard companies, we did the Academy Awards. I found yeah. just a, a vague survey of about 3,000 employees we had hired over the years that about half of them had cell phones. Yeah. Right? This is like in the early oh, 2000s, God. right? What, what, is it 100 percent now? I think it's guards close. Are always a little I think bit it's close. Behind, you know? No, I think it's close. Right. I, I think it, I think you're, you're talking probably in the low 90s. Not yeah. It's, it's so close, when I yeah. started back in the day, when people went the old blink, blink, clock, you probably had. Well, I have it on my on my dresser at uh, <laughs> it, bookcase at home. Yeah, I still got one. Those are fantastic. They were heavy, <laughs> very heavy. So low tech, and and I had a hard time bringing guards into the high tech. Are All you right. finding that guards are kind of showing up with more technology Absolute, in their pocket? Now? Absolutely. That's good to hear. Uh, it's, it's great to hear. Yeah. It is. And again. We'll teach more, but it, it is great to yeah. hear, and it is. You know, hey, listen, I, my, I have two grandchildren. My grand, I have a two-year-old, and what she does on the cell phone is amazing. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I see her on the cell phone. I look at her, and I'm like, my God, Savannah, you know, she's two, she's two and a half. Your years average old. phone is more powerful than a crazy <laughs> supercomputer was. That's, that's, sure. that's where we are. Yep. Ron, so good to talk my to you. Pleasure. Always a pleasure, it. my thank friend. You, thank you very much. Very great Enjoy success story. Uh, check Ron out at AUS.com. It's very easy to remember because I can't say Allied Universal Security.com. <laughs> So it's much easier that way. Back in a minute here at GSX 2000.